probably among the most important questions, we come to the question of the main character of the story. The character is Sophie. The question is, write the character of Sophie as a woman who lives in her dreams. Sophie ka charitra chitran kare, jo hamesha sapno ki dunia me rahti thi. What is the answer? Sophie, a dreamer all the time, and also an escapist, jo vastavikta se dur bhagte hai, unko escapist kehte hai. Wo vastavikta se bohut dur thi. She was a middle class, lower middle class girl, but she was dreaming big. So she was an escapist, living in a small house, but otherwise she had her own world of dreams, her own world of fantasies. Her ambitions were also very high. And all those that were beyond her reach, she was thinking of it. Uski pahunche jo bhi bahar tha, wo sab sochti thi. Uh, she had no practical knowledge of the real world. As such, she was a small girl, not big enough. She was under tight protection of the family members. As she herself says that she had not seen the world at all, uh, like Joff. So, she had no knowledge of the real world. When she had to face the reality of life, um, she becomes a kind of a disillusioned. Nirash ho jati jab reality dekhti hai. Aur wo reality kya hai? Dhokha. Usko lagta hai kaisi ne dhokha de diya. Usko lagta hai jensi dhokha de degi. Usko lagta hai Joff ne dhokha de diya. Secret bata kar pita ji ko ya Frank ko. These are the realities of life. Jeevan ki satchaiya hai. So when she notices these realities of life, she gets disillusioned. Wah, Brahm me pada jati hai. Lekin iske liye kisi ko nobody is to be blamed. I must say because she was like that. As her her dreams, her disappointments were her own. They were not created by others. Others did not feed into her these ideas of fantasizing. Further, uh, she lived in a family where father hated wild stories. And she always uh, shared her feelings with brother only for this reason, not with anybody else thinking that brother would keep it a secret. But he also didn't believe the story of Danny Cassie or she meeting Danny Cassie. But the fact is that she trusted her brother. And once when she learned, when she realized that the date of meeting with Cassie has not been told about by Joff to anyone, uh, she was relieved. She took a deep breath. उसने गहरी सांस ली. So, कभी-कभी उसने बुरा भला भी कहा. At times, she spoke ill about her brother. She felt ill about her brother. She felt bad about her brother disclosing these secrets. But then she also realized कि no, he has not told everything. But she would always share her feelings with brother. She would always feel that she wanted to be close to her brother. She would always feel that she wanted the affection of her brother. Though she wanted to become a fashion designer, when Gen Z tells her that to be a designer means a lot of money, then she realizes somewhat and she says, okay, I'll become manager first. Though even becoming manager is not so easy. 
Sophie was fascinated with Irish footballer and uh, though she met him once, met means she saw him once, she never met him, she saw playing for the match, she was always lost in her dreams and she knew that he would never come but still she was living her own world. Now the next question is, after going through the lesson going places, how far do you feel that sadness and unfulfilled desires cannot be t taken longer? Explain. This question is about the values. इस कहानी को पढ़ने के बाद आप ये कहाँ तक महसूस करते हैं कि उदासी और अपूर्ण इच्छाएं ये एक साथ दूर तक नहीं जा सकती दे दे कैन नॉट टेक यू फार द आंसर इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टन वैल्यूज it is very difficult to carry sadness and uh, unfulfilled desires together because these two things are related to our sense and always create uh, a tension shock trouble and also make the situation worse than earlier In this chapter, Sophie was nurturing her dreams. She was dreaming big from the childhood. She wants to overcome the poverty because she knew that is the biggest hindrance to her. So she wanted to overcome that. And for that, she was willing to be manager. Though her initial dream was to have a boutique of her own but then she she was ready to be a manager also she also exaggerates her imaginary stress of meeting with danny the irish footballer uski bhi atishyukti karti hai to exaggerate matlab atishyukti karna now thinking about uh, unfulfilled and uh, imaginary happiness imaginary incidents that gives uh, at times shocks and also stress the bow padta hai and that the reason uh, the man deceives himself and not others to deceive matlab dhokha dena so in other word unfulfilled and imaginary happenings must not be a part of our life <laughs> in reality sophie did not come out from her dream and that's why she lived a very painful life for long in our real life also we experience that uh, unfulfilled desires unfulfilled dreams unfulfilled targets they cause sadness to us they make us very sad they become a source of sadness among the last of the questions among the questions uh, probably the last one the lesson going places revolves around both imagination and hero worship by the adolescent three words are very important imagination hero worship adolescent and consequently it can be presumed that most of the teenagers have a liking for one or the other heroes or heroine 
keeping in view this lesson write a note on to what extent are the teenagers justified in their act this is a very important question ye jo kahani hai going places ki isme kishora avastha nayak nayika ki pooja और उसके अलावा कल्पना की उड़ान ये मुख्य बातें हैं इस बात को ध्यान में रखते हुए एक पैराग्राफ आपको लिखना है कि किस हद तक इस वर्ग के द्वारा एडोलसेंट के द्वारा ऐसी कल्पना की उड़ान करना जस्टिफाइड है न्यायोचित है उचित है हाउ फॉर इट इट इज अप्रोप्रिएट you have to think there can be different answers but giving you a hint the answer can be somewhat like that a uh, general it is seen that uh, uh, teenagers are in the habit of dreaming and uh, worship people as i said they hang posters all over the walls and so on and so forth they have certain hero heroine in their mind and uh, they want autographs if you see different videos of the play fields or videos where celebrities of non sport things are available people just want autograph but very often it doesn't happen because the one who is giving autograph is not signing for everyone how many people will he sign for maybe 1 2 3 4 4 nothing more and when they fail to get autograph you can see the disappointment on their faces many cry also if you carefully look at the videos showing that crowd asking for autograph and those who don't get see their faces they are very highly disappointed because they are away from realities and because they are away from realities the disappointment comes they they become a kind of a victim and they feel that it's a sheer waste of time sometimes they feel depressed also nirasha ho jati hai depressed they feel stressed also dabav ho jata hai kyunki dabav kyun jaise isko dabav hua सोफी को किस बात का दबाव कि अरे सबको मालूम हो गया है कि मैं ऑटोग्राफ मुझे मिलेगा गेंसी को मालूम हो गया जॉफ को मालूम हो गया लोगों को मालूम हो गया और ऑटोग्राफ में नहीं लाऊंगी तो लोग क्या कहेंगे दैट काइंड ऑफ प्रेशर कम्स ऑन देम ड्रीमिंग इज ऑफ कोर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो डाउट ड्रीम ड्रीम बिग बट इट शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन रियल लाइफ you should not have dreams which are uh, far away from the realities so important message and lesson out of this story is you must dream but dream real excess of the dream which is something like fantasizing is uh, a big problem and when you start excessive dreaming fantasizing then you are living in a very different world which is far far away from the reality and the only way the only thing that will happen is disappointment depression stress and what not it'll create lot of problems problem like anxiety problem like tension keeping away from everyone aloof embarrassment so in this story we see clearly that sophie was a victim of her dreams and didn't overcome it wo apne hi sapno ki shikar hui would you like to be 
Sophie? No. So the message out of this story is that dream, dream big, but dream of the real world. Be on the earth, dharatal par raho, and then dream. Something that you can achieve, something that you can work hard for, number one. Number two, never feel highly disappointed at failure and be very happy at some success. The success will also go one day and so will happiness. Similarly, the failure will also go off one day and so will the sadness. Both will pass away and so you must be realistic in your dreams. As given in your book at the end of the chapter, there are certain heads apart from questions. First of them in the series is thinking about the language. And in this it says, notice these words in the story. Notice these words in the story. First, chuffed. Chuffed meaning delighted. Will he be chuffed? Who asked whom? Jancy asked Sophie. About whom? Who will be chuffed? Father. Sophie's father. I thought he'll be chuffed. That's what Jancy says. And by he, she meant father. Another word is nosy. Nosy, remember? Uh, something, somebody who is trying to intrude into other area. Inquisitive. Bhot utsuk. Janne ko utsuk. Kuch chit janne ke liye utsuk hone ke liye javardasti ghusne ki koshish karna. Maamle mein ghusne ki, discussion mein ghusne ki. So don't be nosy, yaar. Don't push yourself into our discussion. Next word is gawky, as given in your book. Under things about language, gawky means awkward. Who was gawky? Or who Sophie felt is gawky like? Jancy. Someone who is... Uh, um, ungainly, jo uh, raw hai, samaj nahi hai dhang ki, kya bolna, kya nahi bolna. And these are the words uh, that are used in a very informal way. As colloquial speech, colloquial, mat means what? Local. Colloquial means local, colloquial language. Every region, every place has certain words where these words are more often used than other places. So colloquial here means local. You have been asked to make, list out 10 such words from the chapter. So you have to find out such local words from this chapter only. The next is, you have to write about a person whom you see as your role model. Now, the difference between role model and fantasizing about something is very clear. When you fantasize for fantasize for someone, then you can see your own divana. I am using the word divana. A strong passion. Strong like for someone. That is called fantasizing about somebody. But when it comes to the word role model, role model ka matlab hota adarsh. Danny Cassie was certainly not role model for Sophie. 
but every person must have a role model adarsh so who is your role model whom would you like to live like aap kaise tarah aage dikhna chahoge banna chahoge uske bare mein you write few lines about a role model that you wish to have all of you must have a role model in life if you want to grow you must have somebody's image in front of you mental image as your role model the next exercise given is write down the points or questions to be discussed from this and these questions or points are something which uh, you were asked to interview that person imagine on a television show you are asking somebody about his life her life so prepare a list of questions you can as well take example from the previous chapter to answer this question and what was the previous chapter the interview from there you can take a cue a hint of list of questions from this unit you have to identify you have identified the theme which which revolves around adolescent hero worship and uh, fantasizing based on this three words can you think of a situation around you where somebody who is an adolescent is a kind of uh, uh, doing hero worship not idol worship hero worship not role model and is fantasizing think of it and write few lines on it this story is also about relationships between different members of a family different friends uh, friends and family and at the end of the story you start wondering about the relation that sophie had with her brother father mother's reaction derek and also uh, jency and frank and so try to think over it it is a beautiful story about the relationship sambandhon ke bare mein badi achhi kahani hai फैंटिसाइजिंग और अडालसन के बारे में तो है ही पर संबंधों को लेकर भी एक बहुत अच्छी कहानी है सो यू मस्ट थिंक अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप दैट वन मस्ट हैव एंड हाउ फार द रिलेशनशिप एज गिवन इन द स्टोरी आर अप्रोप्रिएट इन अप्रोप्रिएट एक्सेट्रा लास्ट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द टेक्स्ट the line says discuss on a subject of immediate relevance to the life of a school leavers that means to the life of adolescent so instead of going like this what you need to do is write in brief about how the school leavers are feeling how the school leavers are going to uh, face the life and that should be in brief and with this this whole chapter which is nothing but a, a, a collection of conversations built on some situation is over hope you have enjoyed it and you have also been able to relate yourself with the story to some extent